of Unreal support. It's in, yeah, it's uh, we really appreciate it more than we can show right now. So I was Maddie's boyfriend, and she brought me closer to Xana and Kaylee. Um, I knew Xana actually before Maddie, and I met Kaylee through Maddie. And um, I just, like, they always were amazing to be around. Just Xana was always so energetic and happy and just a beautiful soul. And Kaylee was always so strong and driven, and just kind and really genuinely cared about everyone. Um, I didn't uh, get the opportunity to meet Ethan too many times, but um, from what I had heard from Maddie and all the other roommates, he was also a really great guy and just, just none of these people deserve this. Welcome back to my mental health and crime channel. My name is Hoodoo London. This is the case of the Idaho quadruple murders. May the victims rest in peace, justice for their families. This is Jake Rogan, or Rogan Jake. He was Maddie's boyfriend. What I find interesting is when Jake says that he did not know Eaton. According to what I know allegedly, Jake and, and Eaton both belong to the Sigma Chi fraternity. It doesn't seem to be a very big fraternity, so why would he say that he did not know Eaton so well? They do activities, sports, they socialize with each other? Or is he trying to distance himself from Eaton because he knew that Eaton had enemies like the Davids, etc. Allegedly. Another thing that surprises me is this is just my opinion, so entertainment purpose only, God forbid when someone you love, whether it's your parents, your family members, your siblings, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your best friend, wouldn't you read the speech from your heart? So that You pay your respects while you're talking about Maddie that you're looking at the crowd. But for some reason it seems to me that Jake is really focused on reading what has been re written. I find it interesting that allegedly in the 4chan, article, although it was from an enormous source, the person clearly said that the crime would be done within 90 minutes, that they wouldn't take any phone phones with them, and plus they were going to wait for the lights to go off. The three targets was unfortunately Maddie. Eaton and Zano. They said Kaylee was just there. What is interesting in the 4chan article is the person said that Jake Rogan or Rogan Jake is going to play his part of grieving and being Maddie's boyfriend. 
So I have a couple of questions. Where was Jake that night? He wasn't at the grub truck. We didn't hear he was in the corner club. Was he at the Sigma Chi party? Did he see the fight between Eaton and the other guys, allegedly? He just seems to me like he is obviously in shock. He lost his best friend, like he said, his girlfriend. But he seems to be too focused on the papers that he's reading from. For her, she was always surrounded by a good group. Um, but yeah, so I met her actually on her bid day of her freshman year. I don't necessarily think she was supposed to go out that night, but um, luckily she did and I got to meet her that night. Um, so at the, uh, that school year where we got to hang out and just kind of, I got to get to know her a little bit, but I didn't really realize that I was in love with Maddie in the summer of 2020. Um, we went to McCall and I got a boat that summer and we got to spend a lot of time on the water and we floated the river and just hung out every chance we got. And then when we went back to school, I lived in an apartment and I would just always invite over the Pi Fi girls to get an opportunity to hang out with Maddie. Um, we didn't go on our first date until Valentine's Day that next school year. and. We went to the breakfast club in Moscow, but we didn't officially start uh, dating until April 27th that year. Maggie was a perfectionist. Um, a good story with that would be um, Kaylee and Maddie's birthdays. They were like a month apart Maddie's came first and she would always get frustrated because Kaylee would always go all out and just make everything perfect for her and it was like almost like a little competition between the two who could make the their birthdays better and I guess it was a re repeating thing throughout the years of them knowing each other. I wonder what happened to Kaylee and Maddie when they left the grub truck. The driver said that he drove them home, but he didn't see them getting inside the house. Were they attacked outside the house? Were they t attacked inside the house? Why did Kaylee come back is the question. I've heard many people saying that Dylan called and asked her to come back, but that's speculations. It's not a fact. I believe someone definitely called her and told her to come back since it's her last days before she's going to move to Austin. Where was Jack D that night? Both these young girls were calling him around 10 times, why didn't he answer? He just lives two minutes, one minute away from them. Kaylee had the most injuries. God rest her soul. She was stabbed, trigger warning, many times. She had deep injuries. So I wonder if this was jealousy from her ex-boyfriend, allegedly, or boyfriend. Was this about money? Was this about love? Was this a crime of passion, like the mayor said? 
was it a targeted attack like the police kept on saying the first six weeks? Was the house, the residence the target or the students the target? Why did it seem like everyone in the grub truck was plotting against these two beautiful young women made the recipes? This picture to the left is allegedly DM wearing the pink mask. At times I heard she was wearing the black mask, but it was her boyfriend, Queen Kelly, allegedly wearing the black mask. The night the girls and Eaton were unlived, this picture circled around social media, the one with the black mask. Apparently, somebody saw him around the areas of King's Road. He does look like a college student. So Dylan owns mask. She owns knives, trigger warning. We've seen that in many picture pictures. I wonder why it took eight hours for them to call the police. Was it a cover up? Was it a sage scene? And what was the relationship like? for the roommates sharing the house. It states here, early in the investigation, this photo was circulating. Someone posted it to Snapchat as a geosnap. The night morning of the murders, it pinged near the victim's residence around 3.30 a.m. I'm sure the police are aware of who posted it, etc. Also worth mentioning, it was cold, Maybe people wear ski masks, but still interesting. I'm sure it's cold in Idaho, Moscow. And I'm used to living in a very cold country called Norway. And they have snow there too, but you don't see people dressed like this for the weather. This is clearly somebody who's going to rob a bank or do something horrific. Could this have been the person Dylan allegedly saw? And you can see through this mask. If BK was wearing a mask, a ski mask like this, how would Dylan be able to tell if he had bushy eyebrows? The ski mask covers most of the eyebrows. I believe six to seven weeks after the murders, all these four sets of shoes were thrown in the telephone wire. Usually, it could say different things, it could mean different things. Drug organization and crime organization is one of the things mentioned by the Urban Dictionary. Was it just put out there for rest in peace for the students? And if it was, why didn't they put it up earlier? Gangs use this, and crime organization use this to mark their territories. What was going on exactly in this house? And what really happened for four victims to be brutally, horrifically murdered? Where was BM, sorry, BF and DM texting each other during the unlivings of these young students? Were they threatened to keep quiet? Did they know it was the fraternity boys? Because DM clearly opened the door and said, keep it down, I'm trying to sleep. This is what Jovita was watching on his phone. And it's strange, it looks like four figures or three figures. If you pay attention to these figures, you can clearly see somebody lying on the floor. 
dark here. And there's somebody sitting right next to him. This was in the phone of Joe Vito. This was the things I was observing and I put up on my channel four days ago. Jeff H. went and basically copied all my stuff, which is really unfair. He didn't even use it as a fair use purpose. And Jeff H., please stop stealing my contents. I don't want you in my comment section because this is really unmindful and unprofessional. You went and literally copied everything that I showed without even mentioning a thank you. You're pretending like it's your stuff and you can get a copyright strike for that. You can see the group all circled up, all in a circle, watching maybe a fight club, possibly. Jovita has his phone on, so does the guy with the beard, so does the girl with the blonde hair near the guy with the beard. All the other people that are watching something too. They mention the name Zana at least thrice or more than that. No Zana, no. Zana. Zana. Why would they mention Zana's name? They keep on mentioning Zanin's name and now they're saying Eaton. I wonder where Joe Vito and all these people watching the clips got their sources from. The same was the same thing was happening in the Banfield video. You could see the boys clearly on the mobile devices, right in front of the police. You could see Saeed showing the crime scene pictures to himself or to the police, I wouldn't know. But they were so blatant about it. This is a strange picture that Joe Vito is watching. It looks like someone with a ski mask behind, with two eyes and a mouth. And I'll show you the same picture because Saeed is watching it too. I wonder if this person in the front is Demetrius. That looks like three guys. You can see this picture from Jovito's phone. 
It looks like somebody's on the floor. And that definitely looks like eating. I wonder how come the police haven't investigated these pictures that they all are watching of the crime scene. There's something interesting. If you see this mask that the person has on, I'll show you the same one in Banfield that Saeed is watching. That's another picture. You can see somebody lying down with their face upwards. This was one of the pictures in Saeed's phone. And it looks like the same mask.